Aloha snorkelers, I'm Byron. I'm Zoe. And we're going off on another adventure today. We're gonna head down to uh, Kukio, it's called, it's known as. It used to be kind of like a secret snorkeling spot uh, or secret beach that I knew about, but very few people kind of knew about it. And now the word has kind of gotten out. But still, it's, it's almost still kind of secret in that it still has such limited availability and capacity. Like you have to be able to get in there you've got to actually go to the gate and get a pass and get permission. Yeah, I think there's something like 15 passes uh, for parking there or such, so fingers crossed. This is a good spot because it's close to Kona, so it's in it's in the Kona area. It's a Kona snorkeling spot. It's just north of Kona town by what, like 20 minutes or so? Yeah, very um, easy drive. There's two traffic lights. Yeah, and if uh, we have a little bonus, if you stay and you watch uh, the video, you'll see at the end there's some bonus content because we're going to be up by Four Seasons area and there's some special little treat up there in Four Seasons. <laughs> so these are the rules of coming here now that we got a pass. Um, no excessive noise. No pop-up tents. No shade. Uh, no kite flying. Um, it also says no swimming. So basically, if you want to go to the most uh, miserable place on the island where you get to sit in the sun, shut the f up, never go swimming, this is where you come. Have fun. We're here, guys. We made it to Kukio. As you can see behind me, there's this little lagoon. It's great for kids and hanging out snorkeling and you can see there's an arch there. If you can see through the arch, that means the water's kind of low, it's kind of a low tide, and you probably don't want to go out snorkeling through there, through that little tight spot there. So there's kind of this tight area right over here where you can get out into the ocean. So we're gonna head over that way, and there's a little sandy entrance there. And also you can go in the shade under those trees in the grass next to the ocean, which is really nice. So yeah, we're gonna head over there, get geared up and hop in. See you guys in the water. Let's get wet. We get our own private restroom to ourselves here. 
also after you visit Kukio, if you uh, do a little snorkel there or if you're going to snorkel Four Seasons, all you have to do is head to uh, the Residence Beach House. Yeah, this is our little bonus treat. Residence Beach House is normally not available to eat at for dinner, but if you come here for lunch, anybody can come here for lunch. And as you can see, uh, I'm here about three o'clock and there's literally nobody here. So this is a really great spot to come for lunch uh, after your snorkel, if you're nearby in the area. They have a really good happy hour menu, and uh, which happens after three o'clock. And uh, just a really great location right off the water. Really great wait staff, excellent food. The drink has arrived. Cheers, baby. So baby, what did you think of that uh, snorkel spot? Um, so the snorkeling I thought was nice, especially once you get out to the point, you drop off kind of on the ledge. Um, but what I really liked was that you can find a grassy spot right next to the ocean. No sand, hang out there. And there are really nice showers uh, for half price swim, uh, yeah. which is really nice. So. Yeah, yeah, I liked uh, everything around the snorkeling as well. And yeah. nice little pockets of really shallow areas in that lagoon that were really warm, which is nice. Um, That's right. But, uh, yeah. yeah, the farther out you go, the better it gets, I think, um, in terms of visibility. Um, yeah, it was nice, close to Kona, um, but I really liked everything else around the snorkeling as well. Yeah, and what would you give it? What's your score out of 10? 10 is most awesome. It's the most awesome snorkeling you've done on the Big Island. One, zero is the worst snorkeling. Maybe like a seven. Um, yeah, because right when you get in the water, it's not too great. But you right. kind of swim out a bit, then it, it gets a lot better. But also, I really like the uh, surroundings of the snorkeling. How would you give it? Um, I feel like it's about an 8.5. And I agree with you, the entry is not the best. It's, it's not bad getting in and out, but it's cloudy and there's not a lot of great reef, but there are a lot of fish and the fish yeah. are very friendly and that's, that's possibly, true. yeah, it's possibly because it's a marine protected area. It's a marine reserve there. Uh, it was made a marine reserve about five years ago. So the fish seem pretty friendly. They're not quite as skittish as maybe you're going to get in a lot of other places. So that's cool. Also it has that really cool reef, um, drop off of nice reef a shallow reef, has deeper reef, has arches, ca caverns, um, good, great, like schools of fish, uh, fairly friendly fish. So, and turtles uh, co are commonly seen there. Um, it's well protected. So I'd say, yeah, I mean, just considering all those little things and the nicety of all the amenities. Yeah, maybe like an 8.5-ish on my, in my book. That's yeah. what I say, so. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. would you go back? More importantly, would you go back? I would definitely go back. Yeah, I would definitely go back. I'd probably want to go straight out to the point if I was in the water, but I would love to go back to spend like a whole day on that grassy area, bring coffees for the morning and lunch and just hang out there and make a day of it. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful spot. Yeah, beautiful spot. And you can shower at the end of the day and then you're good to go straight to dinner afterwards or such. Yeah. Would you go back? Absolutely. But only if you come with me. Okay, baby. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next snorkel. There's a few other uh, great snorkeling spots in the area, so we'll be sure to pin them at the end of the video here. And uh, you can check them out, and uh, you can also come here and check out this sweet restaurant uh, after you do your little snorkels. So, we'll see you in the next one. Wow.